Over a year ago, I posted a video that Google had announced nearby Share, which will connect your Android phone to your Windows PC. And just to let you know that finally, and this has actually been a long time coming, that um, finally uh, Google is rolling out nearby Share now. And the app is now available as a beta app, so it's still in preview, so there could be a couple of bugs, but nonetheless, it's starting to roll out and is available uh, to the US and some select regions, which I am actually in. So we can have a look at um, the new nearby share app today for you in this video. Now, um, this is not to be confused with Microsoft's nearby sharing, which is a feature available in Windows 10 and 11 devices, which I have posted on previously how to use the feature. And I'll also leave a link down below to that. But if you are uh, tied in um, to the Google ecosystem, um, you may find that using um, Google's nearby share might be a little bit more useful um, regarding the Google apps and services. Now, um, using uh, the Google Nearby Share does require, um, obviously, the installation of the app um, on your Windows um, computer. And obviously, you also need um, Nearby Share on your Android um, device. So that would be your smartphone and tablet. And that would be using the same Google account um, on both those devices, obviously. And um, you can download um, Nearby Share um, um, a beta for Windows on this page and I'll leave a link to this download location in the description and um, for you to download the app if you'd like to try it out but just take note um, of the small print it says for Windows computers running a 64-bit version of Windows 10 and up ARM devices are not supported and Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are obviously required so just take note of that so once you've downloaded um, nearby share you just head to your download location and um, then you would um, obviously um, run the installation file, follow the prompts, install the app onto your system, um, which will open up um, automatically, I think, when you've um, installed it on your first run. But you can also get it in your start menu, Nearby Share Beta from Google. And there we go. Um, that's the new Nearby Share from Google, which is now finally starting to roll out. Now, um, you do need your Bluetooth uh, to be turned on. Um, so just take note of that. If we head to the left-hand menu, yeah, we have a couple of options from the fly out menu. Receive from everyone, receive from contacts, receive from your devices, and devices hidden. And uh, devices hidden is actually the default option after you have um, installed the app on your first launch. And you can obviously change that. Now, yeah, you can see you can drop files or folders to send. And, uh, and if we head to the gear icon in the top right, the settings, um, yeah, you have your device name, which you can rename. Send. Uh, sorry, save received files to, and here's your location, which you can obviously change. Your device visibility, you can also change. You can send um, usage and diagnostic data, which I've turned off. And this gives you the version, which is currently version 1.0.787.0. And that's uh, Google's nearby share, which is, as mentioned, is now available in beta. And you can now use the app on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And um, if you have the app installed on your desktop or your Android device. Now, according to Google, they basically explain what the feature is all about. And I'm quoting this. Um, Google says, Nearby Share Beta works with your Windows PC, whether the app is open on the desktop or running in the background. Sending a photo, video, or document from your PC to a nearby Android device is as easy as dragging and dropping it into the app. As mentioned, that takes place here down below or by selecting Send with Nearby Share in the right-click menu. Just select which Android devices you want to share with from the list that pops up. So that's basically how the feature will work. Sending files to your own devices is even faster, according to Google. As long as both devices are logged into your Google account, as I did mention previously, file transfers are automatically accepted, even if your screen is off. So that's more or less... Um, the gist of what's happening now with uh, Google's Nearby Share, which is now finally available uh, for Windows uh, PCs. And just take note, as mentioned, though, um, it's only available to the US and some select regions. And um, so if you're not seeing it as yet, um, if you're not seeing um, the app available for download, then um, I'm sure you'll be getting it sooner and later because um, obviously when um, it comes out of beta and becomes more stable, Google will start pushing the app out to more regions worldwide, but I will keep you posted and let you know accordingly if any of those changes do take place. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.